we're getting things together for the Fourth of July uh, out there. Hopefully, if we can find a place to go out and play. But we got uh, uh, Whitney Houston doing a Star Spangled Banner. Yeah. Uh, we've got Lee Greenwood. God bless the USA. God bless the USA. We got Celine Dion doing. Uh, uh, Star, what was the oh Star Sp Spangled Banner? You sorry, that was uh, no, Houston. the other one. God bless America. Oh, okay. It also got it, the originator by Kate Smith. Kate Smith, okay. Uh, we've got Neil Diamond doing America, and we got uh, James Brown doing Living in America. Living in America. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, we need our James Brown guy out here. Yeah, right. Yeah, get it. All right. Living in him. That was in the uh, Rocky two or three. Something. I don't remember Something. one of them. Ah. Elton John. Oh, I forgot what? we got the Mormon Tabernacle Choir doing the Battle Hymn of the Republic, too. <laughs> okay. We got it all. Fireworks going up. We're good. Yeah, what's this about? All we got to do is find the damn place, huh? What's this about fireworks? Who's got fireworks? You got fireworks? Out there in Wolf Lake, they got more fireworks oh, than they got down there at the lake. Okay. They're Some people say that they're better out there. Talking about their fireworks. Yeah, their oh, fireworks. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, anyway, Elton no, John. No, but somebody, somebody brought... Somebody gave my grandson a handful of M80s. Oh, not a good thing. <laughs> Guess who's got them now? Yeah. Daddy's got them yeah. now. Yeah. He's, I'll hold on to them. I'll shoot them off. I don't want to be around when he shoots them things no, off. They're no. loud. Well, like, I, I'm sorry. I interrupted you. But well, I, kept I was coming thinking, up. About, thinking about my son last year, 4th of July. He went to his house, and Nathan, and he, he uh, had a whole bunch of bottle rockets. And oh he's boy! Them in the plant. Did they all do all right? Yeah. Well, except for one that shot me what? in the arm. Oh, jeez. Other than that, they all did pretty good. <laughs> but he was sticking at a little plant thing right next to me, and it shoot him off, and then the one blew up and ended up splattering me with powder. And okay. I, you know, I didn't now hurt. I know what's wrong with you. <laughs> it didn't hurt that bad, but it was just like, what, what the heck? <laughs> you do it like somewhere else. Where there's no. Way. And then he was doing the ones. You ever do them in the pool? Where you throw them in a little pool? I've done other things in the pool, but I, <laughs> I've shot things you, off in the pool, but yeah, not but, fireworks. Or yeah, maybe but, they were fireworks. Oh, well, that's another one. Excuse me, but another song that we're uh, Katy Perry's fireworks. I don't remember that one. Yeah, fire. Oh, Katy Perry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. yeah you're okay. a firework. Or you're whatever a yeah, you're yeah. Um, hey, go ahead. Well, I'm just saying. You, I'm just you, ambling. If you throw it, you know, those little round, those little big kid pools, you know, mm -hmm. and you just pull, you put a fill full of water and throw M80s in, and it makes a really cool sound. Unfortunately, he <laughs> right three at a time. Oh, jeez. There was no more pool. <laughs> <laughs> water all over the place. Yeah. So anyway, yeah, Fourth of July is always fun, that uh, you, and hope, and hopefully you all live through it. So. And of course now. They're all legal here in Michigan. Yeah, yeah. They've already been blowing them off. See, what they, you're not supposed to do it except for the, the day of and the day after or the day before, the day of, something like that. Something like that. That's what the law states, and you're not supposed to do it after 11 o'clock. So what is this idiot across the street doing? Waits till after 11 o'clock and is doing them now. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. He got the law wrong. <laughs> or he, just, he just wants to fight the law and see yeah. if the law wins. Yeah. All right, are we ready? Are we still talking about Fourth of July? <laughs> ready for what? I have nothing really. Elton John. Don't scare me like that. I'm hanging out of the table. <laughs> I, I know. I've always been a big Elton John fan, but I always liked his old stuff. I never really care much for the new stuff. Oh, come on. <laughs> well, he's <laughs> got a lot of a lot of ballads. Yeah, I, I just I like the old rock and roll stuff that he did. And I, I like Candle of the Wind that he did the original off the. Uh, Goodbye, Yellow Brick Road album. Yeah, I got I both of them. I don't like the I don't like the version he did, the live version, even though I had it. I I thought it was a good idea that he reissued some of those songs mm -hmm. because he had some really good songs back in those days too. Harmony. I like I like both the songs that came out of the the cartoon movie there, uh, the Beast. Of the oh movie. yeah, Lion King. Lion King. Yeah. Can uh, can you uh, wow. can you hear the love tonight? Can you hear can the, you feel the love tonight? Can you feel the love tonight? What was the other one? Um, Circle of Life. Yeah, Circle of Life. I thought those songs were good. See, I like this one here that he, he came out with um, after John Lennon died. That one, Empty Garden. Hey, hey, Johnny. Mm -hmm. Remember that one? Yep. I did like that one. Um, but this is like uh, his greatest hits from '76 to '86, so ten years. He was one of the first first people that had like a hit every year from 1972 
I don't know, whatever year it was when he stopped. But Kind of um, like Chicago. Chicago. <laughs> you already eat something? <laughs> no, I'm hungry. Oh, you're drinking pop. That's what it pop, is. Yeah. You know, you just drink pop. I'm still standing. Mama, Mama can't buy you love. Uh, sorry seems to be the hardest word. I did like that one. Little Genie, I like that one. That was good. Blue Eyes was a pretty good song for that a was, ballad. That was my wife's favorite. You is better see you like Blue it. Eyes. Anyway. Yeah. Um, Don't Go Breaking My Heart. Good song. Which he did with Kiki D. And I remember him doing that song on the Tom Snyder show when he came out and said that he was, at that time, he said he was bisexual. Okay, and then, he, then, he went, then he went sexual. I mean, then he went... Uh... <laughs> and he went sexual, yeah. <laughs> and he got married, now he's got like he got 16 married. kids. But anyway... Yeah, okay, whatever. Empty Garden, Hey, Hey, Johnny, I was... With and, that was all because, and that was all with a man that he married. So I, yeah. I like, I, that was pretty good. I like yeah, that. That's, yeah, I don't know. Well, he mean, changed the world. I don't know how it happened. He but, changed yeah. everything there. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, just write your comments to... Yeah. PT. Well, after he got done doing that, I had to turn around and look at my ass, make sure it was there. <laughs> yeah, I always looked at my stomach and I always thought I was pregnant. Like, <laughs> kind of wonder if somebody got behind me or something. Anyway. Uh, okay. Uh, Read some more. I love Elton kiss, John's music. Kiss the Bride. That was another one. That was one. good. Uh, I guess that's why they call it the blues. That was a pretty one. Pretty that's good. the one. Yeah. Uh, that's, that's the one my wife likes. It. Okay. Uh, who wears these shoes? I don't remember that yep, one. Yep, I remember that yeah. one. Sad song, say so much. Mm -hmm. uh, wrap her up. Yeah, yeah I remember it. Yeah, and Nikita. Yeah, that was a good song. Yeah, so they're they're all you know they're all good songs, but I, like I say, I still like his old stuff. But I do I do want to hear Hey Hey Johnny. You can pick what you want to hear after that. But you want to hear you Hey like, Hey Johnny? I don't know if I'm familiar with that one. That's the one he wrote after John Lennon got shot. Okay. So that would be, what, 81 when he got shot? Oh, uh, geez, I can't remember. I think it was 81. Time goes by so quick now. Yeah, let's uh, see I'm if it sees. I'm going to be 90 see and if it sees. before I know it. See if it sees. Yeah, see if it says what year they came Oh, I can look it up here. Yeah. Oh, okay. Well, Elton John's right here. Oh, that's right here. Okay. Um, John. Empty Garden. Elton John, Bernie Tappan. Hey, that was the other thing, too. I think he stopped... He stopped writing with Bernie Tappan after a while, didn't he? Well, all these songs are written with Bernie Tappan. Elton John, here he He's is. He's the one that wrote all the words. Though. What are you looking for? Don't go breaking empty, my heart. No, Empty Garden. Uh, 1982. 1982. Empty Garden. Hey, hey, Johnny. Oh, Empty Garden was hey, hey, Johnny. Yeah. I didn't recognize it when you said hey, yeah. hey, Johnny. Okay. okay. Uh, a tribute to John Lennon. Now, what do you want to know about it? It came out in 82. Right. That's how I, I found that out here. Yep, number 13. Okay, I'll make Had a picture 13. sleeve on the 45. Can you look and see how many number ones he had from 1970? Yeah. From 70? Yep. To what? To, well, when he stopped having number ones every year. He had he had number one hits every year. 72, 74, didn't have one in 73. Well, see, I thought he had, they had said he had a number one hit every year for like 10 years or something. No, then he didn't have another number one until 91. Really? Yeah. Maybe I got it wrong. And then he had, wait a minute, 91. Don't let it go. Oh, George Michael. What the hell is that 91? What's that doing down here? Oh, no. Why is that here? Why is that down there? <laughs> it didn't make any sense. Okay, then you got, you've got 72, 74, 74, 75, 75, 76, and that's it. All right. And you drop down to ninety-seven. Well, obviously, I was wrong then. Yeah, you were wrong. Hmm. My God, God was wrong. I can't believe I was wrong. Jeez. I think you're probably wrong. I probably just you probably just can't read properly or something. Well, well no, they're great big black circles and then the one. Okay. <laughs> anyway, you want to hear do? This? You want to hear the yeah. song that he wrote for John Lennon? Right. Okay. You know, like I say, it was Bernie Tappan wrote all the words. You're probably thinking about top ten songs. That could be. Because he could had be. top ten songs all the way straight through his career every year. Yeah, okay, that's probably what it was then. 